aviation pays well. Mm. Kenya can also become a big player, mm. but it pays. Yeah. Isn't it? Imagine all that money coming back. Just train them, mm. send them out. Because, okay. You need at least a minimum of six million. Hello and welcome to another episode of Who Owns Kenya. If you have ever thought of joining the aviation industry, then this is the episode for you. Today we are joined by the amazing Captain Waweru Mwangi, formerly of Kenya Airways. He's going to talk to us about the aviation schools present in Kenya, what the comparison between Kenya and South Africa, and the factors you should consider when you're choosing an aviation school. Welcome to the show. My name is Grace Mateka. Asante sana, Captain, for joining us today. Uh, first of all, for people who don't know you, tell us uh, what earned you that title of Captain and for how long you have worked at KQ. I think earning the title of a Captain is well deserved. Yes. I've worked for it, I've earned it, mm -hmm. and I'm very, very proud of it. Mm -hmm. um, I started flying, or the interest in flying started a very, very long time ago when I was still in uh, kindergarten. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of uh, uh, enthusiastic uh, uh, potential aviators, so to speak, uh, is that we have them, and I'm sure they're they, they, they at their formative stages, so to speak, mm. early primary school, mm. nursery schools, and even high school, even colleges, yeah. because the college yeah. can come in late. Yeah. And I, I think it's a noble profession, and I love it. It has yeah. made me who I am, it has built me. Yes. And at the same time, I have earned a lot of uh, experience. Mm -hmm. And also, um, it has made me grow, mm -hmm. even as a person, mm -hmm. uh, due to the interaction with different yeah. uh, people from uh, different nationalities. Mm -hmm. And also, learning other people do their thing, yeah. so to speak. Uh, uh, because most of the times, uh, we tend to think that uh, when you only eat your mother's food, you think is the best, mm -hmm. yeah. until you go out there yeah. and uh, uh, taste. Mm -hmm. Uh, menus from other mothers, mm. and that's when you realize, oh, uh, that is just as good mm. out there as there is at home. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and I want you to, I want to take you back a little bit, because I remember mm. in our previous discussion, mm. you told me that you actually didn't uh, train here in Kenya. Yeah. So I want you to give us, to take us back to where you learned how to be a pilot, and how did you start practicing? How then did you come back to Kenya and join the national airline? Yeah, yeah so to speak, uh, uh, Kenya, when it comes to training, I mean, I mean those those days, yeah. the, in, the 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 training uh, environment was not as good as it is today. It has really improved. Mm. We have moved quite a, a huge steps forward, mm. but those days were still in infancy stages, so to speak, yeah. and it's taken uh, quite a while. Now. Uh, for somebody to really choose a place to start their uh, pilot profession, mm. yeah, number one, you really have to know exactly what you want. You really have to do your homework. Talk to people so that you know exactly what you want. Mm. Because you have uh, different areas where you can uh, practice or, or be, be a pilot, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, th those areas are very well defined. Yeah. We have uh, the airlines, mm -hmm. we have the charter, mm -hmm. we have, uh, today we have the air force, okay. we have the police air wing, mm -hmm. we have uh, forest service, they have helicopters, mm -hmm. and uh, various other organizations within, uh, within the government. Okay. So it's up to, to, uh, up to someone uh, to really go out there and try to find out exactly what is out there in the, in the market. Mm -hmm so that you know exactly what you want to go into. Mm -hmm. There are people who would love to fly helicopters. Yeah. Go and find out whether they, first and foremost, how many, are there enough companies yeah. in Kenya that are operating helicopters? Mm -hmm. What do they do, right? Mm -hmm. And also are there opportunities? Yeah. And also at the same time, uh, will it fit you? Mm -hmm. Then the other one that we have is uh, what we call the fixed wing. Yeah. They're the ordinary aircraft. Mm -hmm. There are people who would want to fly in the airline. Try to find out a little bit more about the airline. Mm -hmm. Uh, try to find out about uh, charter companies like the ones that fly Mira, the other um. others that fly passengers mm -hmm. locally and uh, within the region. Okay. Uh, and also at the same time, what does it take uh, for you now to to really uh, be employed or have the interest to work with them? Mm -hmm. Because first and foremost, I need to tell uh, potential pilots that. Uh, 
it takes you, I mean, aviation, depending, especially in, 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 in flying, mm. it takes you away from, takes a lot of your time, yeah. away from the family and all that. Are you ready for it? And then, it also depends. If you fly for charter companies, mm -hmm. those ones will give you time. When uh, you say charter company, what do you mean? When, when I say charter companies, mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking especially in our, in this, uh, cons I mean, uh, this particular, uh, I mean, time is um, the airlines that actually deal regionally. Okay. Not very big, not an airline, uh, okay. uh, like such. Yeah? Like uh, um, Charter companies, mainly Jumbo Jet Note is not in the category of charters. Okay. We have charter companies in Wilson, mm. Mombasa, and uh, right now probably we have some in Kisumu. Okay. And uh, other places, they are now coming up, mm. where you can go and uh, hire an aircraft. Ah, okay. They don't have scheduled services. Mm. Ah, right? Okay. Okay. So, so we, uh, sometimes we have scheduled services, we have uh, also charter services. Okay. Now, now, going back to the choice of... Uh, uh, schools first and foremost is do you have the passion for it mm. do you have the interest for it then you go and start finding out which are the best institutions that offer the best uh, training mm. plus also, also at the same time uh, cost effective mm. now the challenges that uh, a lot of uh, potential pilots face yeah. are finances mm. because unfortunately uh, locally we don't have people who finance a potential pilots like you can go in and apply for a loan yeah that is a challenge okay. so uh, parents have to really dig uh, dig deep in their pockets yeah. uh, to facilitate the training mm. uh, unlike the developed countries where uh, a student I mean students can actually apply for student loans mm. and then uh, at the same time they also have a very very big advantage where the loans given when you're given your university loan yeah. A uh, lot of universities offer uh, piloting or aviation aviation courses up to a degree course, uh, up to a degree level, okay. where you do aviation management. Mm. Others go and do, you can do, you can also do sciences, become um, a test pilot, right? Mm. So it's actually very, very wide. Okay. So, but uh, coming back to our environment, our situation here in Kenya, what we need is disseminate more information. Mm. We need to have organizations like uh, Kenya Civil Aviation mm -hmm. and even the schools mm -hmm. come out and start advertising so that yeah. a lot of information is disseminated yeah. and also now makes it easier for potential pilots now to make uh, decisions. Okay. The other thing that uh, I would encourage uh, our system to or our government to do is come up with ways and means of trying to facilitate in terms of uh, uh, availing funds either directly or indirectly mm. to potential aviators. Okay. Yeah. But in your opinion, do you think that now, because you mentioned cost, do you think this career is, uh, is, a, is a reserve for the rich? No, it shouldn't because I'm, I'm not from a rich family myself, mm. but also depends on how self-driven you are. Okay. And it's also possible because um, some countries are really citizen friendly. Okay. Where if you go in, you can actually work and be able to pay for yourself. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, in Kenya, aviation has, to my disappointment, it hasn't grown as I had expected. Okay. Where you find that uh, there's a lot of encouragement because, number one, aviation is, it connects the world. Yeah. But are we, are we encouraging our people to be players in it mm. in terms of uh, encouraging the young people uh, to venture into it mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and also, try also to make sure that um, uh, there is facilitation. The, and when I talk of facilitation, is the, the, the question you're asking me about uh, funds, yeah. especially finances. Yeah. How do we help our, um, uh, our young children mm -hmm. who want to go into aviation to really feel that the government has come in to, uh, to assist them. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the number of people who join the uh, police, I mean, uh, uh, organizations, mm -hmm. government organizations mm -hmm. like uh, the Air Force, Police Air Wing, and, all, and the rest, it's, it's, uh, co comparatively is negligible. It's so yeah. small, yeah. right? Yeah. That uh, somebody might even look at it as a non-issue, whereas it's a very, very big issue. Mm. Now, my, my, my take will be, uh, the government can uh, come up with the uh, uh, financial loan programs mm -hmm. 
right, where um, the, govern the government uh, guarantees a loan, where you, once you finish your training, you come back and pay. Oh. And then the other good thing is that uh, comparatively, aviation pays well. Mm. Yeah, so if, you f if you're able to be facilitated yeah. and you're able to finish your training all the way to employment, mm. and the government can also even guarantee employment, and I can tell you how. Because it does the same for medicine students. Exactly. Yeah. So how does it now? It should also treat aviation the same way it treats any, any other course, yeah. whether medicine, um, uh, whatever, any other course that is done at the univer offered yeah. by un our universities. Mm. Now, now I've, I remember some time back uh, writing to the government and asking them uh, uh, whether they could actually consider mm -hmm. Uh, facilitating Kenyans to do uh, to, to venture into flying so that they can also go out as expatriates in mm -hmm. the Middle East mm -hmm. and those and there's a lot of work in the Middle East mm -hmm. so that um, Kenya can also become a big player mm -hmm. of uh, providing uh, um, uh, um, pilot as employees yeah. uh, internationally yeah. uh, if you look at um, the opportunities outside and uh, the good thing is that Kenyans are very hard working mm -hmm. I have met a lot of uh, very hardworking and very uh, knowledgeable and educated young people. Yeah. The government should actually, that, that's a very, very big um, area that the government should tap in. And especially in the areas of uh, uh, diaspora remittance. Yeah. If you look at the, 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 the salaries being paid by some airlines, like Emirates, yeah. uh, okay. I mean, I mean uh, Qatar, yeah. Fly Dubai. Yeah. Yes, you work hard, but it pays. Yeah. Isn't it? Imagine all that money coming back. Yeah. So we'll, we'll actually even relieve uh, the government, the burden of uh, trying to create employment. Mm -hmm. Just train them, mm. send them out. Because yeah, I remember, yeah, I, I did write that, but nobody took uh, interest in it, and I never okay. even got the response <laughs> of the previous government. Okay, yes. and when you say cost, I want you to be more specific, because I'm sure there are students who, mm. you know, are looking into joining this uh, career. Yeah. When you say cost in Kenya, how how much exactly can you give us specific now, I think I can give you the figures mm. uh, to get uh, to g actually to get a, a CPL that is commercial pilot license which is now an uh, the employable level okay you need at least a minimum of six million can a minimum of six for million the full course. for the full course so which we are talking about between it can take between uh, uh, two years to three years depending on the availability of funds and also other factors like weather availability of aircrafts and also the, ma the, the amount of time a student is putting in. Okay, so yeah. all these people, regardless if you're flying a charter yeah. or whatever, you the, have training, is the, the training is the same. It is the same. Well, it doesn't matter what the training for the. It, uh, yes, there's also the helicopter. We call it, uh, mini, uh, let me call them normal aircraft, we call them fixed wing. And then the other ones, you call them rotary. Okay. The training, the, the, um, the training is almost the same. But with the with the with the with the helicopter training is a little bit different because you operate it differently. But it's not it's, it's not hard. Okay. No no you can you can just you can do anybody can do it. Yeah, so six million and yeah, yeah. we need funding. Eh? Yes. Okay and th and then there's this issue I've seen it a lot. We we, we even run a questionnaire and most <laughs> people were of the opinion that you know training in a country like South Africa. Is no. better than training here. Yeah. Can you give us comparison? I, I think I think to to, uh, to a big extent uh, it, they could be right. Mm -hmm. They are right, and uh, I remember we we every country has own the way they develop their systems. If you look at South Africa, aviation is quite uh, developed okay. as compared to ours here. I think uh, first and foremost, you look at uh, the facilitation, and what I mean of facilitation is. I'm talking about the institutions themselves. <coughs> how are they set up? Mm. Are they student friendly? Mm. Plus now, secondly, how is the training set up? Mm. How is the syllabus? How is the government coming in to make sure that um, the training is relevant mm -hmm. and the necessary uh, uh, facilities are yeah. provided? Mm -hmm. You find that um, uh, Kenya, because of uh, still, still the same, same, same thing, finance. 
to run an aviation uh, school in Kenya is quite expensive and mm. challenging mm. because you real you really don't get a lot of uh, government uh, facilitation support, yeah. and support mm. but if you go to the developed countries south africa being one of them mm. you'll actually find that uh, the environment is friendly the government uh, policies are friendly mm. mm -hmm. go to the us the same same thing mm. you go to britain and so many other countries in africa we really have a ch i mean uh, uh, outside of South Africa, almost all the other countries in Africa, we, we actually have challenges because it is like the governments are, n are not interested in okay. that particular line of uh, um, uh, profession, mm -hmm. right? Okay. They need them, but they never facilitate, mm. right? And, in, and when I say they never facilitate is in terms of uh, them taking interest in trying to grow it. Mm -hmm. Uh, whenever they are considering financial support mm. for institutions, mm. I've never seen them mentioning uh, aviation. Okay. They could even go uh, to the extent of um, uh, encouraging uh, our universities to offer uh, pilot training. Mm. And probably whenever they are, they are giving these institutions funding, that also can be... Uh, uh, can be considered. Okay. Yeah. So currently, how many training institutions are there in the country? No, in the country, we, we have uh, what we call eight ATOs. Okay. And uh, there are quite a number, but Which are? Uh, <laughs> we have we have um, examples are ninety nine okay. flying school. Uh -huh. We have uh, Kenya School of Flying. Okay. We also have. Uh, Actually, there are quite a number. Oh. Some I don't, they, I don't know them offered. Okay. But there are quite a number. As others are just quite small. Yeah. Some have uh, maybe two or three aircraft. Some have one. Mm. And then these people are really struggling. They are really putting in a lot of effort. Yeah. Yes. But uh, as I said earlier, the challenge is uh, government support. Mm. Yes. Okay. And uh, at some point, KQ actually had uh, started, uh, and um, at some point they had started it. Um, uh, a system wh which is actually uh, quite uh, um, supportive mm -hmm. and at the same time was coming in handy, okay. the Abinitio program. Mm. And then because of the issues that you are seeing in Kenya, yeah. it has come into effect where mm. uh, they used to take uh, very bright students. Yeah. Uh, initially, UNDP used to come in and support uh, the training. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to that. We are, uh, Kenya was used to take uh, students to, after they qualify, I mean, uh, doing the interviews and qualify mm -hmm. for that, uh, for initial entry. Mm -hmm. They used to take them to Addis Ababa. Mm -hmm. Then thereafter, South Africa for Kithad, and uh, uh, the other school is, um, uh, what do you call it? There's another school also. They used to take to two schools. Okay. But because of... Uh, politics. <laughs> no, no, it's, 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 it's actually not politics. Okay. I wouldn't call it mismanagement. Mm -hmm. It is mis... <laughs> Let me call it inappropriate, inappropriate uh, conduct okay. and behavior. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now uh, what you're telling us is that people have the option of studying here. They don't have to go abroad. Yes. Yeah, they, they have the option. But if given a choice, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to adorate ours yeah. locally. Mm -hmm. I still want us to give them a lot of support. Mm -hmm. But I've always found that uh, it is quite challenging. Mm -hmm. And it's good to be honest yeah. so that somebody listening to what we are saying today especially uh, from uh, from uh, the, the, the the system let me call it the mm. system they can come here and try to find out why uh, some of these sentiments are being aired by somebody like me who is yeah. a professional pilot yeah they could also come and talk to us yeah. reason maybe there yeah. is quite a bit we can also contribute towards yes. uh, improvement and facilitation of training locally mm -hmm. uh, we can also invite uh, international uh, stakeholders mm. to come and set up very our weather is quite good mm. isn't it i don't know why uh, um, we need to, to 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 actually spend so much money sending students outside whereas uh, our environment and especially let me let me actually be specific our weather is quite uh, friendly okay. when it comes to aviation okay as compared to the to so many other countries okay yes and now back to south africa because yeah. we get a lot of you know a lot of people are referring yeah. to south africa is the training period the same and no the, the training the, 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 the training period is the same it's the Two facilities years. okay and, and, the, and the way and it's quite advanced oh, okay it's, it's quite as compared to ours Okay. The government really gives the South Africans this. I don't know right now, but still it is uh, still good. Okay. 
Yeah. And, but, the, um, um, and the cost? Uh, will the cost are the same. Range? The uh, cost are almost the same. So, uh, yeah, uh, but maybe, maybe yeah. the same the? also. Yeah. Uh, on average, also about six million. Yeah, it's about six million. Oh. But you see, with the, with the South Africa now, because now that means you are foreign student. Yeah. That means you need uh, oh, yeah. upkeep. Yeah, that's true. Uh, air tickets yeah. and all that, but yeah. comparatively with what you get down, it's worth it. It's worth it yes. for that price. Yes. Okay, so what I'm getting, uh, the factors people sh should consider, of course, is first of all, yeah. the cost, you have to check financing. Actually, yes. I, I, I wouldn't go into, into financing, mm -hmm. I will actually look at uh, quality. quality. That is number one. Secondly, they have to consider. They have to consider. That, that, yes. that is the cost. Uh, yeah. No you, see, you see what I'm saying? I'm looking at somebody who is already interested, mm -hmm. isn't it? And has the, has the finances okay. or has the interest. Mm -hmm.